Good morning. What's up, boys? <laughs> All right. Wahoo Fish Tacos. Okay, so what is this place? Okay, so this is kind of California uh, Mexican healthy. Right, keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, yeah. stupid. Bravo. Yeah, this is really nice. And okay, there's a history here, right? Yes. You, you were saying, okay, this is cool. Listen to this history. Okay. Okay. Unit H, we're pulling up to see my buddy David Misterly. He's a palm builder out here in Costa Mesa. Beautiful Costa Mesa. A, B, C. Look, it goes from C to E. Come on. And there's some famous story. Oh, wait. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G would be followed by J. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, this is David Misterly. This guy's awesome. This is Costa Mesa. I'm very much looking forward to a beautiful day out here and excited to, to see some, some of his designs and some of his water features. Let's go do this. And you are? Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie, the pun guy, Greg. Hi, Greg. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. okay. They're in there, they're ready for you. Okay, I, I, like, I like to hear that. E-F-G-H, perfect. A hug from you. Oh, Good to see you. Uh, this is the this is the better half. That's yeah. right. <laughs> What's up, boys? <laughs> All right, and here's my man, David. Look at this. Are we the same age? Uh, you're one year younger. Oh, that's why the gray. That's why the gray. <laughs> so this is home, huh? Yeah, this is home. What's up, guys? Hey, Hi, guys. Greg. This is Eric, our construction manager. Big yeah. strong guy. I like yeah. that. Hey, this is really cool. This is your showroom, huh? Yeah. Costa Mesa, Jerry was right down the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's where I first went in. It was your shop. Uh-huh. Yeah. What year was that? 2004. Okay, so we've been working together since 2004. Okay, there's a history here, right? Yes. You, you were saying, okay, this is cool. Listen to this history. Okay, so there's actually a lot of billion dollar companies that came out of this little industrial area. Yeah. And Quicksilver, huge company. The surf, it's like a, it's our yeah. surfing brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Started right here in this office. That is awesome. Yeah. That's a billion dollar company. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe uh, we can have a billion dollar company here with Aqualife Fox. Started right here. <laughs> billion dollar company right here, yeah. this man. So there's good history. This looks like a great team. It's an amazing team. Why are you always complaining about them? <laughs> <laughs> so who's the best waterfall artist? Jose and okay. Nick are okay. really good. Okay. They're, now, how old are you, buddy? 21. Okay, so you're the, you're the babe of the group? Yeah. That's uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> exciting. So this is the office. I mean, this yeah. is your little showroom, so customers come in here and yep. get yep. design ideas and yep. stuff. What are we doing today, buddy? Okay, we're just gonna go on tour and hit pond You, me, pond. and our, my two guys, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, so every morning uh, we, we just meet with the team and, and go over stuff really quick, but uh, once a week we do a, a weekly meeting and that is upstairs. Look at how neat and clean, Bonnie. Is it always that neat and clean yeah. or did you make well, it this way for my visit? It's always like this. No, okay. Bonnie. <laughs> Actually, Bonnie has really She's turned us around because that's what yeah. I, I. You know what? You I remember you talking about her. She was the one thing, one person you said positive things okay. about. This is such a sweet Where little. Bonnie? How yeah. far are we from your house? 15, 20 minutes. Oh, okay, so this is nice and nice and nice. I can ride my bike here too. Or if we want that is so sweet. And you can see the coast from here. You can see the ocean. Oh yeah, that's cool. So how long have you been in this space? Since April. April. Okay, so you're coming up on a year. Yeah. yeah so you're coming yeah. up on a year, and I mean, it was just like a huge leap to do this. And, like, but it know, turned we, out well for you. We didn't have an office place. place. I mean, we had, it was like between the living room and the kitchen, and we had a desk. <laughs> you know? Right. And the backyard is built just so with like all the organizations you guys pull up. I can hear them in the morning. 
getting my daughter ready for school. Yeah. And it's just like <laughs> our lifestyle is just little by little. It's hard work, but it's just it's paying off. Now, are, are you here? Obviously, I'm assuming you're in the office a lot more than Dave is. We don't work very well together, so. <laughs> Uh, I, so I, I feel your pain. Yeah. So I've been working. That's why we have Bonnie and letting go, so that so she's I can in be between. Like, you can I tell mean, her. She can tell they you. They do yeah. it together. Yeah. Like do things. Like do all the work stuff that I can just be the creative person that I am. Yeah, love it. Yeah. Fish tacos. Okay, so what is this place? Okay, so this is kind of California uh, Mexican healthy and born out of the surf culture. It, it essentially born out of uh, all us surfers going down to Baja, California, eating fish tacos, having surf trips, and they just want to make something. Uh... Good God, no. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're getting some fish tacos, right? We're getting yeah, fish tacos. Fish. All right, I love it. Okay, we're here. So this is the original? This is the first one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We're home. Hello. <laughs> you guys offer some Wahoo tacos? Yes. All right. What was your takeaway? It's really easy to get behind the times with marketing these days because it's going so quick and so everything has to do with, with YouTube and yep. social media and it, it takes some immediate education on our part and luckily we got to spend some time with you guys and we're heading in the right direction. No, Ann, I was very interested in your husband's comment because we were talking about how, you know, how great it was for him when he came back to Pandemonium and he said you were kind of like, what? And then you came and you were just like, this is it. What was your perspective when he came to Pandemonium that you didn't have when your husband came back all fired off? We are going through the commitment stage of like sticking with one vendor as we kind of evolved and changed and that, you know, choices in your business, but truly it felt like the family. Uh -huh. Because we started with Aquascape. But what was the emotional connection? Because he basically said you really felt a buy-in and it was a beneficial thing for you well, to get Well, because it's truly, the, it's the way that the systems of how it's built in general, but then the community of people that we have, and because it matters to me was community and people that we yep. get to grow with and that we get to, is just making people's lives better. It's the really certified cool. accuracy of contractors, the brotherhood, the... It, that, all of that, the people that I've met, they're some of my new best friends and all around the United States. Right. And, and even like, you know, overseas, like, you know. Like you had a great time? Jim Wilson, but I, I yeah. could go there now with, even without Dave, I could be like, all right, Dave, you know, I could go hang out with some people. You know? Right. Like I could. Because you've go. connected with them on some of the trips and stuff. Right. Dave, what would you say to yourself? Because you basically were a certified contractor, you left, you tried all the traditional ways of pond building, you know, got into a different uh -huh. method and then you came back to, like, what would you, what would, piece of advice if you can go back and tell yourself, you know, <laughs> you know, 10 years ago when you got away from it, what, yeah. Go with what's proven and go with success. The success is already proven, so just follow that mm -hmm. and stay focused and don't get enticed by um, things that, that really. But what enticed you, like why did you think you needed to leave the Aquascape Certified Counter Program to be I successful? I feel like that we were growing even with local business in Washington and truly he was still getting to understand how to even Right. navigate and build water features and then also I think it was because it's feeling strong in what we're doing that it wasn't really about like just what the customer wanted like do we know you know how to get give them what they need right keep it simple stupid keep it simple yeah. stupid amen Bravo. <laughs> Costa Mesa here's Paul it's like he doesn't I don't even exist he's editing his videos very impressive to see a young man work this hard ABC yeah.